Welcome to another BMW video, it's 2013 F3318D and in this video I'm going to be changing the front anti-roll bar drop links F30 BMW video I found a bit of play in one of the uh, ball joints on the on the drop link while it was down at the tire place having its alignment done you know, the guy com confirmed the the war the war plane he said both need replacing which I'm gonna do anyway so I've uh, I ordered some some drop links and they are here when I don't drop them mm, these are Delphi ones 25 quid for the pair, which wasn't bad. I'm a little more fatter. So, what I'll do is, uh, I'll do this one, because this is the worst side. I'm just hoping it'll come off without a struggle. So, I'll get the front end up in the air and the wheels off. And I'll come back to you when I'm ready to undo the drop links. Well, with the wheel off, I've uh, doused the bottom and the top nuts in WD. Uh, the nut itself is 17mm there, that's just a 17mm nut, so I can't get in with an impact or a socket unless I get a deep one, but I can get in with a ratchet to span the seat and it's turning. But if you look at that bit there, you can usually get in with, a, with an open ended spanner like, so uh, it looks like it's 19mm. So I'll just set the camera down. Looks like it's, it's coming undone. If, if only all anti roll bar drop links could be this easy. Half at time, I'm usually having to get medieval with the grinder. But these with, with the flats on this side, you get a spanner in and you can just undo. No, no, now the top one will probably be a different uh, story. But what I'll do is I'll, if I can get, if I can get in with the open ended spanner at this, at this side. But yeah, as you can see, the, yep, there's definitely, look at that, there's a lot of play in it, so it definitely needs replacing. So, let's see if I can get to the, under this top one is easy. Probably be a struggle, but I don't know when you're going to see that. Let's have a look at it. Just put my hand up. Try, try the impact. I'll just, just get the beast on just to get it started. It? Should be a 17. Yep, it's a 17. Where can get, get a spun on it? Right, I've got to get, I've got to find a deep socket. I don't have an impact socket but I'll just use a normal one, I don't want to use, don't use an <coughs> impact with me. Let's have a look. And that's just turning round unsurprisingly. So if I get this top one off as easy as the, the bottom one, I'll be laughing. Let's have a look. There we go. Oh, no. 
No, I'm not getting the grip. So, it should, it should have been the same top and bottom. There we go. Let's see. Yep, I've got it. So I can get, get it rest away by hand. <sighs> yep. Oh. Because that must be one easiest to do. And there we go. I managed to liberate. You can see you can see the flats where you, you can get a spanner in. It's normally 17 mil, but that bottom one I did it with a 19 and this top one with an 18. So yep. Yeah, 17 should have fit, but never mind. It's off, that's the main thing. And as ever, when it's time to fit new parts, I always compare the new and the old just to make sure they're right. I mean usually in the UK if you put the registration number in. You, you, you're good. So there's our, there's our new one. Let's have a look. And yep, orientation's the same. And the, these are not handed. So yep, we're good, we're good to go to fit it. Okay, don't know when you're going to see this. So it starts, it starts at the top. Balloons, but let's take a chance with the impact. So I won't use the base, I'll use the other impact. I've got both out. You should just. Is it 17 of this? So look at. No, sockets, sockets not 17. So I'll find a socket that fits. Probably 16 or a 15. Check. Yeah, I think it's a 15. Okay, back with a 15 mil socket. I know I shouldn't, shouldn't use them. With an impact with it's only, it's only the small impact, so should should be good. So I just need to get this one on at the bottom. There we go. I won't be able to use it. Use it in fact. So look I got brought out the uh, yep. So I've started that I've started that bottom one but I can't get it all the way in. But at the end of these it's it's like an it's like an allen. It's a form, it should be a four mil Allen. So, I've got a four mil Allen on me, on my 3 8 ratchet. And I can do that, that last bit up. Is the anti roll bar drop link done? So I need to do the same on the other side. I'm all buttoned up. I managed to free off the track rod end at that side. It's time for the moment of truth. Have I fixed it? 
annoyingly, I haven't. So it's just gone half five. I might just make it to the tire place before the close. I haven't got time to put everything away. So it'll be a quick dash. I'm back at the tire place. And the good news is that rattling, it's actually gone. It did the trick. So just turning on the steering wheel doesn't, doesn't produce that noise, but the, it's, de it's definitely gone, is that rattling? So yep, that is definitely a confirmed fix, finally. So just finish off the alignment, and that said the rear will squeeze me in, and then I can finish the video off. So on my way back from uh, alignment, of which more a bit later on, I went to see my uh, mechanic, let him know it were drop links and I noticed this Cadillac Braum, now I've seen this one it's appeared on my dash cam video so it's about 89 if I, if I can believe the registration uh, a, a G prefix which is about 89.90 so third of the decade presumably and it's a fantastic car I've asked Owen if I can uh, do some video <laughs> Every day I see an American car. Really plush interiors these with the with the wood trim. I thought you can't see the mileage on there, but never mind. Fantastic example. Vinyl roof. The boomerang aerial. And of course it has a five litre engine. No doubt with V8. So I'll, I'll get back home and I'll let you know how I got on with the alignment. So back home after seeing that nice Cadillac and there's a, a nice fellow, who's the owner. So how did I get on with the alignment? Well, it's getting there. It's better than it was yesterday, but it's still not quite there. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to take that track rod end off. Get it, get it freed off completely which is a bit of a pain but that's going to be a job for another day so apart from that I'm, the, we have a confirmed fix that rattle is definitely gone so it was definitely those uh, anti-roll bar drop links and stuff like that you've got to replace them in pairs replace them wasn't too bad anyway enough of my waffling on I hope you enjoyed this video and, and that Cadillac which was a, a it's a bit unexpected. So, as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.